Welcome guys to Fallout 4, this is the second installment of my series on Fallout 4 mods and today we're taking a look at the Enhanced Wasteland mod which uh, enhances the visual aspects of Fallout 4 to make it a more appealing wasteland uh, that uh, you can find all over throughout uh, your world in Fallout 4 using higher saturation and a couple of different features uh, what this uh, sort of mod offers uh, predominantly is this ambient lighting followed by depth of field and a couple of FX uh, A uh, um, enhancements, CA and some luma sharpening so all visual effects to make your Fallout 4 a little bit more spectacular a little bit more spectacular I should say as it is approaching sunrise we uh, quickly run over here as we can try and find a little uh, foes that uh, we can do battle with as uh, we explore uh, the wastelands of Fallout and uh, trying to locate the sun. Uh, I think it's still too early for the sun to be popping out. Um, we want to get a nice sunny shot of uh, the wastelands, the waste mounds in the uh, good old Fallout. I'm using OBS to record this, the open broadcast so software, rather than using the NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shadow Play, uh, simply because it consolidates OBS into one file, um, the audio and the game audio and my microphone audio all into one clip, uh, somewhat similar to what Fraps does, and just makes the process a lot more simpler and easy to do. Uh, Although, and also, NVIDIA has been, uh, Shadow Play has been giving me a few little headaches with a few little glitches here or there. As uh, we discover this Starlight driving, uh, this is just the very beginning of my career in Fallout 4, exploring uh, this uh, beautiful, beautiful game. As uh, we are approaching a little bit of lag over the which is quite interesting uh, while recording with OBS while in shadow play I can record this using these settings uh, fine so uh, ooh, now we've discovered Lexington let's see if uh, ooh, 30 frames but now we've jumped back up but uh, it seems to be red hot in Lexington around about 40 frames which is uh, quite interesting uh, so we're over here Lexington uh, Starlight Drive-In uh, Museum so we uh, we don't really want to go. No, no. Um, right, let's just go back and uh, see what uh, we can find with uh, this beautiful lighting. And as you can see, the frames just drop. I think I'm going to have to be uh, lowering my settings uh, while recording because I am recording in uh, actual 4K, uh, which is probably a, a bad idea. I should be recording in 1080p and then because I'm uploading in 1080p. Um, but recording in 4k uh, gives off whoa jeez louise all right okay that's a bit of a surprise for the video uh, i am using a trainer and my god we have pissed off something we have severely pissed off something uh, we don't have a long range weapon uh, this one will be a lot nicer no nah. oh we got him very slow to fire though. There we go, popping him, popping him. So you can see the uh, visual effects. I wish I had a before and after, but you can't um, actually uninstall this mod in game. You need to take out a few files uh, from your in game directory. As we're getting bombarded with shells, as we should run around out of the way and God, move down this shopping trolley, that annoying shopping trolley. Uh, let's see what we can do. A switchblade. I think that shotgun was my best option. This, this is a little... Not the best of options. This shotgun seems to be the more delicious choice. As we try and find a beam of sun uh, that we can find. Uh, maybe if we continue running in this direction. Maybe we'll find a ray of sunlight. Which I'm hoping to find now. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, where, who's shooting at me? Ooh, there he is. This is a turret. Ooh. And so, one thing to remember, lower... Actually, no, recording 1080p instead of 4K because uh, recording in 4K in OBS is just a little bit too much. With also ultra graphics, uh, you can see 
and also this enhancement mod uh, giving off a juice uh, fest and a little bit of bottlenecking when recording. Well, the sun has come up and uh, you can see on the river's edge how beautiful this game is. Uh, you can see the distance, the viewing distance is quite large. You can see all the way over there and uh, all the way over here as we approach some sort of bridge. That will be pretty cool to jump up on top of that bridge. Uh, I have a trainer installed like I said. I have God Mode installed but I really want to have no clips so I can fly up and explore the tops of uh, say for example this bridge and uh, some just hard to get places that uh, you need to be a little bit nifty to find the uh, tops or how to get to the top of. Uh, see I wouldn't even have the slightest of ideas how to jump up on here. Uh, maybe you can't, maybe you can. Let's see if we can quickly solve this. Uh, ooh, I think maybe we can. Although we are definitely getting some terrible frame rates. Um, very terrible, as we miserably fail that one. Uh, I don't think they may be uh, accessible. Maybe they are, but uh, you know, we're, we're too much of a noob uh, for that noob to jump up on and uh, figure out how to get up on top of that but uh, hopefully there'll be a mod coming out for that just short enough but this is more of a visual enhancement mod so we're going to be taking a look at the uh, wastelands of the uh, distance I should uh, supposedly say the distance of the world as you can see as we have a blowfly somewhere where, where did that bastard go there he is as we approach all sorts of evil villains and the scary stuff just exploring uh, your fallout world as we head over here to the mass gravel and sand as there's always these nasty fuckers uh, there's more nasty bastards over here in this so we're gonna kill these bastards and uh, then call it a video uh, so let's go over here and um, dog meat on the trail already here we go dog meat well oh, dog meat is is Adam Oh, there we go. Just bite him. Bite him, mate. Come on. We'll pop him in the head once. There we go. Ooh, he looks pretty mean. Look at him. Oh, yeah? What you got on me? Pop you in the head. One, twice, three times. And... Oh, there's another bar. Ooh, what was that? That's some ugly stuff. Let's rob all of him. Take his clothes. Yes, thank you very much. I wish you could throw him outside the window. Oh, we can. Can we? No, nah, he's oh, he's fallen. Oh, it's very gory. God, dog meat's at it again. What's happening over here? You're all right, dog meat. You're alive. Oh, look at him. Oh God, you're savage. Savage little dog. Look at him at again. There's more. Oh, where's where? Where's something? Where's something? Huh? Get it. Get ah, oh, get him. Get him, motherfucker. Get that rat. Get that mole rat. Yeah, there we go. Chase it. Chase it. Here we go. This is great stuff. Okay, he's going to kill it. Ooh, ooh, it's two, two on one. Two on one. Here's a dog fight. Dog meat takes on the mole rat. Here we go. Ooh, in 4K, here we go. Two on one. The mole rat seems to be taking a beating. And uh, oh, a third mole rat. Three on one. Oh, going on for the long run over here. Chasing it down, dog meat going in for, oh, 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 nice pounce attack, and uh, that's a three on one, dog meat takes out the victory. How are you feeling there, dog meat? Look, it's a chunky, chunky lag over here, 30 frames per second. We want it to be hitting 60. I uh, definitely need to uh, switch up my recording stances. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of Fallout. I much uh, love playing Fallout. Uh, in the future if uh, that's something that uh, you guys might fancy. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.